Would you define one or more of your past relationships as abusive? I've only ever had one abusive relationship and it stood out a mile from every other relationship I've ever had. I just remember being swept away and I early on in the relationship I felt quite quite loved for the first time which was kind of like a new experience. I think there's a book that even refers to it in its title, the term walking on eggshells, and that's how you feel. You just don't want to set them off, and you don't know where the, you know, where the eggshells are. They're everywhere, but there are landmines there as well, and you really don't want to step on one of those and set them off. So, if you could, could you give me a definition of what abuse is? Telling you where you can go, what you can and can't do, who you can and can't see, what you're allowed to wear, in the case of ladies, you know, no makeup, what are you dressing yourself up like that for, who are you going out to see, uh, that kind of thing. I like to think of it as anything where you're causing another person upset or harm and that can be physically or it can be just emotionally. When someone either says something or it's an action that someone does towards you and you ask them to stop or to stop saying the words because they upset you, they offend you, they hurt you and they carry on. To take away someone's joy, to take away someone's self-respect is, is abusive to me, to not let somebody be who they are. It, it's just that power of, of them looking down and, and demoralising somebody that you just, that's, that's what he got out of it. I can't speak for everybody, but that's what he he loved that. He loved the power of seeing someone crumble. Abuse is an attack on the core of another person, of attacking them for their most fundamental values and the very basic tenets of who they are.